to know that the cost of making a product is dependent on the number of items x produced. This is given by this equation, c of x equals all this stuff. Okay, so what does that mean again? The cost of making a product is the c, and the number of items would be our x. If we want to know the average cost for producing x items, we would divide the cost function by the number of items, which is x. That should make sense. If you want to know the average cost of something, you divide it by how many you buy, right? So if this is our cost function, if we divide it by how many items there are, it would give us the average cost per item. You'll notice that doing this gives us a variable in the denominator. That is what makes a rational function. Okay, so let's go back to our toolkit functions. You remember the 1 over x function looks like this, and then the, the squared rational function <laughs> looks like this one. So we have these two pieces in the squared one. Let's review our arrow notation really fast. Looking at the reciprocal function, as x goes to negative infinity, what does y do? So as x is going this direction, y is going this direction, which means it's getting closer and closer and closer to where? This line. This line is where y is zero, right? So as x gets smaller, y goes towards zero. All right, well, what about the other direction? As x gets bigger, y gets closer and closer to, again, it gets closer and closer to zero. So what about when x gets close to zero from the left side? I guess I should have turned my phone off. As x gets close to zero from the left, that's what that notation means. x is getting closer and closer to zero from the left. y is getting smaller. So y is going to negative infinity. As x is getting closer and closer to zero from the right, y is going up, so y is going to positive infinity. Okay, so let's look at this one. As x goes to negative infinity, y goes to what? As x gets smaller, y gets closer and closer to zero. I think that's supposed to say infinity right there. As x goes to infinity, so as x is getting bigger and bigger and bigger, y is again going to the x-axis, which is where y is equal to zero. So what about when x approaches zero from the left? As x is getting closer and closer to zero from the left, y is going up, so y is getting bigger. As x is approaching zero from the right, y is again going up, so y is going to infinity.